Hello all. Welcome to part 24 of TestNG training series. In this session, I am going to explain and practically demonstrate how to use ignore missing dependencies attribute of TestNG. So let's get started. What is this ignore missing dependencies attribute? I am going to practically demonstrate this. But before that, guys, you have to watch the previous session. Okay. This is one of the previous session you have to watch to understand ignore missing dependencies. Okay. Because I covered a lot here. Okay. And uh, this particular session is dependent on this particular session. Okay. Test dependency in test engine using depends on methods. This concept is related to dependencies, guys. Okay. So I'll tell you what exactly this is. Very simple concept only. You already have watched this. This is very simple concept. Okay. So just go to the. Okay. Just go to this. Eclipse IDE where we already have three tests which have demonstrated in this particular session here. Okay. As part of this, I already demonstrated. If this particular test passes, then the dependent test will run. The second day, you see this particular test, which is dependent on depends on method user login. So if this passes, this will run. If this fails, this will be skipped, right? That's the thing you already know. And also, if this passes and if this uh, dependent test also passes, then there's another test which is dependent on ABO2 test methods, user login and add product to wishlist and view wishlist, okay? If this two test, test passes, then the third test will also run, okay? So at this moment, guys, I didn't provide any invalid input or something. So first test will pass. So the remaining dependent test will also pass run. They will be executed and they will be passed. Okay. I'll click on run all here. You will see all the three tests passing. First user login will run and it will pass. And the dep second dependent test, uh, which is depending on the user login will run. And after that, the third test, which is depending on user login and another test will run. Okay. You see, it will, uh, you see, all the three tests got run. All the three tests got run and they got passed. Guys. You see, passed is equal to three. So first user login got run. The dependent test which is depending on user login got executed and it got passed. The dependent test which is dependent on both user login and add product to wishlist and view wishlist also got executed and passed. This is what is a, a good case. Now, what if I put at the rate ignore here? I covered this already in that previous session, guys, okay? So if I import this ignore, I am disabling this particular test from execution and, but, the problem here is there are some tests which are depending on user login, but I am disabling the test from execution. So this test will not be executed. So what is the situation of this dependent test? They will be, they will not be executed guys. Rather you will get an exception, some test engine exception saying that this tests are dependent on the dependent test is not available like that. Okay. This particular test uh, on which these particular methods are dependent is not available like that. Some exception will come. You see, just click on run all. I'm ignoring this test from execution. So immediately you will get a test engine exception saying that add product to wish list and view is uh, view wish list is depending on method user login. If this is ignored, then how can we run the dependent test? It is saying simply that's the thing. Or you can delete this also guys. The same exception will come. But what if irrespective of whether this particular test on which other test methods are dependent on is either ignore or deleted. Still, if I want to run this dependent test, what I have to do? So let's say this particular test method, I still want to run even though the user login is not available. Okay, then what I have to do? Here I have to provide this particular attribute known as ignore missing dependencies. Okay, ignore missing dependencies. Dependent tests will still run Despite of the test, they are dependent is ignored or missing. Okay, so earlier we got an exception here when the test on which the dependent tests are missing, this particular met method is missing, and the dependent tests are giving this particular exception saying test change exception, and these methods are dependent. Hence, we are giving the exception kind of. But now I want one of the test method which is depending on the this particular ignore test should still run. Okay, should still run then. Here, ignore missing dependencies attribute I will use. I will mention as true, guys. Okay. Only for one of the tests I am saying. This one I am not saying. 
this will be skipped guys because anyhow if this particular test doesn't run and directly this will run this will fail and since it is failing this particular test is dependent on this one this will get skipped guys okay third one will get skipped second will will be executed irrespective of whether uh, this particular thing is missing or uh, ignored this second test will still run that's the purpose of the ignore missing dependencies and third test will fail because i have not used ignore missing dependencies here okay rather this test is dependent on this particular test hence it will skip okay this test will fail and this will skip okay that's what we are seeing that that's what we are going to see so first uh, first one is ignored it will not be executed second one will fail because it is still running despite of the main test being available it's not available and uh, third test will be depending on this one and hence uh, it will get skipped okay or it's also dependent on user login it may give you an exception also okay may give you an exception so let's run this anyhow let's see what will happen yeah we got an exception guys that's okay exchange exception because the last one remove product from wish list is depending on the method that is not available but this one ignore missing dependencies is equal to true is mentioned only for one of the test methods that got executed okay where are the results guys nothing there are no results here somehow no results here okay results of running wish list uh, failed test summary nothing is coming here let's see uh, by adding this ignore missing dependencies true here okay i'll just put here also let's see what will happen this time i'll say run all let's see what will happen we are ignoring the missing dependencies let's see what will happen you see this time they got run uh only two tests got run guys because the user login got ignored so it will not run second thing is the ignore missing dependency test got failed okay and hence the third test got skipped okay third test got skipped this is what happens guys okay irrespective of whether the test on which this particular dependent tests are depending on is missing or ignored or not available or deleted still the dependent tests are running one of them is failing and since one of them is failing and this particular test is dependent on this particular failing test this got skipped okay because it is depending if it is failing it will get skipped simple you already know that so this is all about ignore missing dependencies attribute guys okay how to use this ignore missing dependencies attribute in test ng so that's all for this session in the next session i'm going to cover another test ng topic for you till then see you bye bye